So hello everybody, welcome back to Meet the Jugglers Live and today we have Stanislav and um, I can't, uh, how do you say your, hello, hello Stanislav! Well, hello everybody, nice to see you, uh, although I don't see you but you see us. <laughs> yeah, 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 but anyway, there, there, any, is, there is anyway a connection and um, I wanted to also say your surname but I can't pronounce it, can you pronounce it for me please? Yeah, would you try it first? <laughs> um... Okay, one second, eh? Because I can't even know how to spell it. Vysotsky. Vysotsky. Yeah, great. That was absolutely perfect. Stanislav <laughs> So still not ah, so okay. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. It's probably, it's more difficult to, to yeah. This yeah. Beautiful, beautiful name, anyway. So, um, Stanislav, um, you have, like, quite an extraordinary technique, you know, and you've gone quite deeply into, um, into using... You, all of your hands, you know, all of your paws, let's say your 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 feet as well. Yeah. And um yeah, there's loads of ways we could go into this start talking about this, you know. But uh before we start talking about like uh how you got into your what, what you what you're doing now, more could you just say how how did this all begin for you? Like uh when did the spark start up for you with, uh, with juggling and circus and uh yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, um, it was 1997. I was uh, 14 years old. Um, well, I, I was born in Kiev, Ukraine. Um, and in, at my school, in my class, actually, I had a friend who could juggle three ball uh, cascades. Hmm. It, I was really like impressed. Like, wow, really cool thing. <laughs> and you know, when we had like some show at the school, they put him. They would put him on the stage. And he would juggle three balls, you know, and I, I thought it like, wow, this is, this is special. I want to do that too. Uh, so I was jealous. I wanted to learn that. Um, so I was just collecting some balls or some stones on the street, you know, and trying to juggle by myself. And I could, man I could manage actually to juggle, but you know how beginners juggling that so the wrong way. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, but, but still, uh, this was uh, the beginning. So don't underestimate the three ball cascade <laughs> power. No, no, then, no, it's not. Yeah, and then um, I I was visiting my my uh, aunt, and she was a circus performer actually, and she was at home, um, and her uh, husband, so my uncle-in-law, he could also juggle juggle a little bit. Well, hmm. He could juggle quite well. Um, hmm. And I showed him and he said like, oh, would you like to learn it, like to learn more? I said, yes, why not? And so he would teach me like the very basic things up to five balls, I think, like three balls, tricks, four balls, tricks, and up to five balls. And then they brought me to a circus studio. It's like the place where like, not only for kids, but also adults, but like, like a, a, a major circus place where you learn stuff. And this is how, how it all began. <laughs> yeah. So from there, you, um, and you went also into a school now afterwards? No, no, I was never going to a circus state school. Uh, mm -hmm. This was the, the only place I, I was going regularly. Uh, and after that, I was just learning by myself. <laughs> okay, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so how was your, how, like at some point you must have been training for hours, you know, you don't get a technique like this for just training like half an hour, you know? Sure, no, 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 no. But, um, you know, this circus place is like, uh, we call it circus studio. So I call it circus okay. studio. Um, and I was going there five days, like after this normal school, regular school, I go there uh, five days a week for, at the beginning it was like two hours a day. And later it was like more. three hours a day, four hours a day. So mm. like, yeah, I was practicing a lot. Yeah. Very, di very disciplined, you know. The idea I get from uh, from the Eastern countries, you know, is like really this idea of discipline. You know, you get in there and you do your thing. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. You like we are, uh, you know, this, I was born in Soviet Union, so um, right. the Soviet Union collapsed in the nineteen ninety, and we became independent. We still got this. You know, spirit of like working hard, going forward, be the best. You know, 
So yeah, and we hope we had we like inherited a really amazing artist and you know the teachers and like the atmosphere was like really big there. So yeah, going forward, you know. So yeah, so what was the atmosphere there like? This is interesting, you know. Was it like um like motivational, you know, everybody like just going for it? Were also friendly? Um like how did you how did you get the motivation to train for four hours a day then five days a week you know what were you just we wanted to perform that was the goal what what oh yeah like yeah of course like everyone like we don't have really um um jug, like a juggling or a circus for fun it was like if you go to the circus studio you're like aiming to become an artist okay you know um so i think like on my second year or third year, I wanted, oh, actually, no, after the second, after the first year, I wanted to become a, an artist, right? So to go to the circus school, like the state one. Um, and, uh, you know, it, you, you have so many different uh, input from different artists who just practice in there and they help you just like, everything is free, you know, for free. You, you get a big input. So this, this was like motivating you. And you know, to become an artist means that you could just get out of that country and travel around the world and earn money. Because you know, after like in the nineties, Ukraine was like really poor, you know? And and to go somewhere, it's like was impossible. You need visa everywhere. But as an artist, you know, the doors are open for you. And of course, this is like a really nice motivation as well. Yeah. Sure, apart, from, sure. apart from that part, like to become a best one of the best artists, you know. To, yeah. So you were already working with your foot juggling already then. No, um, that, well, I was like, okay, um, <laughs> um, I started to perform on stage for money after four years of being like of going to, to this circus studio, hmm. uh, but it was not good juggling yet. It was just normal, regular, regular juggling. But not not very strong, but cute. <laughs> um, and well, I, I started at that time already to try some food juggling stuff, but um, was not easy. Well, I switched to food juggling now more. Um, like, I couldn't, I couldn't be, like, I was trying to get into circus school, the state circus school three times, three years in a row, but they didn't take me. You know, I was like not good enough, probably for them. <laughs> and you know, after the third year, I said like, okay, I will. I'll become an artist anyway without you. Ah, oh, good, good. <laughs> yeah, they pushed me like more. So I was like, okay, I do it anyway. <laughs> and um, I was like a thing with a still thing without muscle, so I couldn't do like really hard stuff, you know, the, the bigger juggling, jugglers did, like really a lot of objects. I couldn't do it physically. So probably mm. this one was one of the reasons why I would switch my thinking a, a little bit and try and stuff with, with my feet. And so I started at that moment to, to try something with my feet, uh, but it also was uh, like, you know, <laughs> not, not, not easy task <clears throat> because like I was experimenting I was like trying to do something uh, and but I was like without uh, without shoes and some uh, older artists would say would tell me like what you you're gonna go on stage without shoes like barefoot it's it's not it's not good you cannot do this you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like you know uh, you know all this generation you know they have another ethic or you know another rule. So I was trying to juggle uh, with the shoes, like full juggling with the shoes <laughs> with like di difficult things. So I was trying to put some ropes around, like around, you know, to, to, to create a, a small border so the balls don't fall. And you know, this these things uh, didn't really work. So I was like, at some point I was like abandoned the idea and I was just doing normal juggling for some years. And then coming back again to that idea with the feet. Um, 
Because I saw like if I juggle with like barefoot, I can do more stuff. Um, so yeah, I decided like okay, I'll, I'll just do it without shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and at that at that point, my my foot juggling was like growing, like slowly, but it was growing. Just you, you know, there was nobody who could juggle with, with his feet, so you don't know if it even ever worked out. You know, you don't have an example, so you just I was just researching and trying this and that. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so yeah, that was going to be a question for me. Did you have like inspiration? Were you, uh, were you, um, but no, obviously, obviously. <laughs> you yeah. said you were just go take going it for yourself, yeah, yeah. I mean, there were jugglers, uh, who would do uh, kick ups, right, already many years ago. Uh, like if you ask me who would who was my inspiration for that, the, the only names I can recall now. Like I cannot say this this guy was my inspiration because sure. there was no food juggling like at that time, but there were few jugglers who did a lot of food catches. So one of them is uh, was like I, it, this, his juggling just really stuck in my head. Uh, was Manuel Alvarez? I don't know if you know him. Uh, he does a lot of pickups with a with a clubs. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So such amazing juggling, Emmanuel Alvarez. Um, I think the 80s is his time. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, Victor Key, of course, because <laughs> he does a lot of foot catches in his act. And I think this was like more the direction I wanted to go. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Excellent. And then at some point you 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 came to um to Berlin, right? And uh, perhaps you can tell a little bit like this, and then you, you know, you come from this 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 ethic, you know, that you juggle because it's a job, you know, you like you work it as a job, and then yeah. all of a sudden you meet all these people that do it just for fun, you know. I mean, how was this? How yeah, it this uh, mind blowing. I was like, wow, <laughs> <laughs> it works a different way. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we don't have this culture in like in Ukraine or post-Soviet countries. Uh, we don't have any juggling convention. I mean, there is now in Russia, but it's like since a few years, right? Uh, so we didn't have anything like that. So if you're, if you're a juggler, you're going to be a, an artist. Uh, and yeah, it was like really um, relaxing. Like, okay, yeah, you can just chill, you know, you just, you just have fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, you strike me as someone who, who knows how to have fun, you know? Uh, he's quite smiley as well, and uh, I think this is always a good sign that someone's found like really what their 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 um their path their path yeah, let's say exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and um ah <sighs> so yeah we we were um, yeah we said this just a bit earlier that um you know we're in this situation of uh, lockdown I don't really like to talk about it too much in these podcasts. But um, we're, we're lots of people in different situations now. And uh, and um, and how is this for you now? You know, I don't know if you, how, how your training is now. Um, I mean, like now, yeah, because, uh, um, like, no, at, at, at this moment, I'm supposed to work in, uh, at uh, the it's in Leipzig. Uh, yeah, sure. but, yeah, we actually started uh, in October and we played seven shows and then the, the second lockdown came. So now they cancelled the show and um, I supposed to work there until end of February. But now it's even the lockdown will be longer, so they cancelled the show. And so now I'm back to Berlin and yeah, they, you cannot really pra go and practice to the gym because yeah, there are some regulations, uh, so I'm able only to practice now one time a week. <laughs> yeah, which is just you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, one time a week, so yeah. But you would, if you could, you would like to train a bit more, right? Of course, yes. yeah. I would, I would call like at least five times a day, per uh, day, five times a week, like I used to do, like I used to practice when I just started, <laughs> five, five yeah. days a week. 
maybe there's somebody who's watching this that uh, can help you somehow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, right? Eh? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, lots of people, though, they've been training in their rooms, but you do things that are really high, right? And probably you might have people living underneath you as well. I don't know. Yeah, also the neighbors, they are they, they know, so below me here. They will not be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. I appreciate that. I appreciate that totally. Yeah. So, um, ah, let's move on to um, a little bit like, um, if you feel like it, um, how, um, how have you how you refined this technique of, of foot juggling? You know, what have you discovered? You know, what um, um, also like technical details as well, if you like. You know, like um. You found out that you need to have your knee in a certain way, or your ankle, or you need to be loose, or yeah. you need uh, like, um, like how did, how was how was your trial and error? Where how did where did this journey take you? Yeah. So um, when I had quite a good level uh, of skills <coughs> with foot juggling, <coughs> sorry, um, I thought I had this idea. Uh, okay, I want to juggle with my feet. As if, if I would juggle with my hands. Uh, so I, I wanted to achieve this level. Mm -hmm. uh, easy to say, right? <laughs> and then to do. <laughs> um, and uh, of course, it was like, especially at the beginning, it was a bit too difficult. So I decided to mix like hands and feet. So to, to achieve this balance, nice balance, but with a more focus on my feet. Um, and then, like, I thought, like, why would I, like, if I make an act on stage, why would I juggle with my feet? What is the reason? So I had this idea to tie up my hands, you know? So that's why, like, my hands are tied. I cannot juggle with my hands, so I juggle with my feet. So this, mm. is, the, this is how the, the, um, I created my act. Um, so I was just, like, practicing and practicing, practicing a lot. And... Um, Yeah, and like, you just need to build some, you know, muscles on your like hip muscles. Mm -hmm. Now, now I feel like I have like really big hip muscles <laughs> because you know the leg, the leg is big. So to lift, li lift up the leg quite fast, you need like really good muscles. So I think it's just like going to the gym, you know, to 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 pump it up. It's the same. You need to build some muscles on the, on your legs, and. Um, and also what helped me a lot, I actually changed the balls. I had Russian balls, but the shell was hard and they were a bit bigger. Then I got some smaller balls and they were a bit softer. And I, after that, I really, I like really improved. Like I could juggle over the three balls, but then I jumped to four balls really quickly, you know, with one foot. Yeah, so changing changing the, the prop is also actually helpful sometimes it's like you know playing playing football with a basketball ball you know like sure. you need to find proper prop for you for your technique excellent yeah. I'm, I'm quite interested also in um in different ways of, of creating methods no you mentioned now you your idea was to tie your hands yeah. so um how, could you take us through your how you uh, do you choose a music first? You play around on this, or you decide you write down all the tricks you'd like to put in your routine. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think we've got very interesting things yeah. here. Here, well, you know, in our countries, um, we usually take a choreographer or a director who would make create that. Uh, usually, like we are just we just we just artists we, we just performer or juggler or another actor. Okay. So you have just a skill and then you take an, uh, a director to create an act. But I already had this idea. Okay, I decided I want to do an act where I focus more on my feet. So I, I, had, I had already all the tricks. I had all, already all the combinations. I got an idea with to touch my hands. And I, I had already music in my head. And so I just asked a friend of mine, a choreographer. So she put it on the music. She like created a choreography and make it all the transitions, you know, nice and smooth. 
Um, I also can move really good, so it was yeah, a lot more like a dancing, juggling act. Yeah. No, no, that's, that's nice, and that's important as well. Yeah. To have someone uh, that can help you with this. You know, uh, lots of artists that I know, and myself as well, we end up having to create things ourselves, you know, and it becomes very complicated because you um, you have to see yourself from the outside while you do, you know, it's, uh, but uh, it's possible, eh? it's definitely possible. Um, and um, yeah, and they have to be people that work with jugglers, you know, otherwise they have a very strange idea of what, what to do, you know, yeah. I, I find anyway. But obviously yeah. they work were used to working with jugglers who you worked with right yeah 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 <laughs> yeah okay, it's, cool. it's nice to have like extra pair of eyes you know from the outside because you see yourself in one way but someone else is a bit, a bit different and you cannot really say what is good what is not good i mean you think it's good but it maybe it's a crap you know from from the point of view of the audience so it's helpful yeah Okay, so one thing is like let, let's hope that somebody can help you to find uh, another place where you can uh, where you can train at least, at least once or twice a week. <laughs> no, study <laughs> slav. Yeah. That would be good, no? That would be good. Yeah. yeah, 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 definitely. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to think um, of. Um, you know, I often ask people what sort of advice would have they have given them to themselves, you know, when they started out. I don't know if you've got any things you've learned now that you would have done differently. Mm. Um, I would, yeah, what, what would be this? Um, like, it's, you shouldn't compare yourself with the, with the others. I mean, it's, look, it's good to look up to the better jugglers, but not comparing to them like I'm like oh my god he's so good I will never be like like him you know because you, you're gonna be disappointed you're not him you you so you have to go your way I mean you you can learn from them but not like you know comparing to them because I was not really strong juggler at the beginning like like and I was like frustrating you know frustrated so I would tell to myself don't don't do this you know <laughs> and and also not to listen always to to the others, like, you know, like the person that they told me, like, are you going to go barefoot on the stage? You know, and I think this kept me like from the faster um, um, progression, you know? Okay, sure, so, sure. So if you have an idea, go for it, you know, just try things out. That's what I would mm -hmm. tell you, so, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay, that, sound, that sounds cool. So, um, um, so what? Let's say after, uh, so you find that you have your act is is defined and complete now. Or you want to, what do you want to make it even more perfect with your trick? What are you? Uh, what uh, what goals do you have, like um, with your with your juggling now? Well, I I always like try to make it more smooth, like all the transition. Sometimes I change some tricks. If I see, okay, this doesn't really look nice, or maybe I tired from some trick, uh, so I would replace it with a different trick. And yeah, I work more. more um, I try to do like more catches on stage. For example, if I do three balls on foot, in one foot, I try to do more catches, you know, to, to have it solid. Like so people really see, oh, okay. And not just like, you know, get short. <laughs> you catch it. So stuff like that um yeah cool like going more on uh stage presence you know like more like open and yeah yeah this is an interesting point you know working on how to share what you what you're doing with the audience no exactly, yeah. how do you how do you do this in in your port in the pauses in your routine or or trying to look at the audience while you're actually while you're actually performing, or I think I think it's coming with experience. Uh, as soon as you like sure about what you're doing, then you can focus on something else. So not focusing only on the tricks. I have to do this trick. Oh my god! 
but but you know this trick is working you know then you like you like yeah looking for the audience or yeah working more for the audience and not for yourself yeah. okay so there's there's one small there's, there's something interesting here i'd like to mention as well it's um when we're like on the juggling buzz you know and it's like uh we're really uh, excited about tricks and um we lots lots and lots and lots of jugglers we try we tend to put things in our routines that we can't really do you know so um for you how is this i mean how do you decide if, uh, if something is stage ready or not um actually this awful juggling thing <laughs> was so not ready but i said just okay i i, I just want to do that <laughs> okay in and i it was like really so difficult i did a lot of drops that, you know, you drop with your hands when you drag with your hands, but with the feet, it's just like, who at the beginning was difficult. Just, you know, just, you know, I just, just go for it, you know, try and think. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Yeah. excellent. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add, uh, Stanislav? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what would I add? Yeah, just be happy with what you're doing. That I, I would edit. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, let, let's say this. So, what do you think uh, juggling has actually um, taught you? You know, what, what apart from juggling, I mean, life life skills. What life skills has juggling taught you? You think mm -hmm. that sometimes you have to really work for something you really want to achieve. Yeah. Yeah, juggling teaches us this definitely. <laughs> juggling, yeah. yeah, yeah, And often, uh, often it's it's like there's this thing of self motivate mo uh, this self self motivating, um, mm. especially when it's exciting to do, you know, and we're really uh, mm. excited about it. We want to do it, and uh, and um, Yeah, so it's easier to be to, to work hard at something that we're excited yeah. about. No? And, uh... Yeah, for me, it was like uh, when I had really nice level already of good juggling skills, uh, I I felt okay. I'm I'm bringing something that had never been existing before. Like you know, some three balls with one foot, or even four balls, even crazier, with one foot. So I'm like I was like oh, I feel okay. This is I'm. So close to something that will be like the first time. So this was my such big motivation. I was working so hard at that moment, and I remember I was working in the cruise ships, and I was I, I used to work uh, practice it at the night. You know, we had this uh, theater, open theater, so people would walk like passing through. But uh, at the night they go sleep, and at that, at that time I would go on stage and practicing sometimes until in the morning, like. When I see like people go into the breakfast, you know, I would stop them. So, but it's because I was like, okay, I have to do it. Like, I have to do this now because you never know. Maybe there's someone in China already doing the same thing, and he will be the first. You know, so I'm gonna be the first. So yeah, this was the okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a powerful motivating yeah, thing. Yeah, this, this, this urge, you know, ah, I have to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I don't. I don't know if you feel like. Uh, I think we've said loads of stuff now. I always like to try and share like something, at least something. Uh, I don't know if you have space there to show to like just share um, something with your feet in your in where you are now. Juggling. Yeah. Well, I mean, I cannot do a lot of stuff here. Oh, whatever you can. Just a little bit, okay. Yeah, just like a minute or something. You might have to lower your camera a little bit. Ah, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, maybe it is. So I have to go a little bit more and wait. Let me check. Oh wow! Okay, we go. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. It's good. Wait, wait. Okay. Uh, I have a piano here, so. Oh, well, hey, you're good. Maybe <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. Oh, you don't see my head now. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, could totally see you, see everything. But I go even further. And here, all right, here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Cool. Put some more light. Oh. Yeah, it's good. All right. So, um, can you hear me from here? <laughs> yep. So we all can do. Uh, I don't know how you pick up your drop. Like I do it like this way. So the knee goes yep. in, right? the foot goes outside. And to catch the ball, it's just you have to do a reverse, reverse move. You know, that's the same, but other way around. Like this, and like this. So, and when I catch, I go like quite high with my knees. Hmm. Right? And then, and then I do like left, left foot, foot the same. And if you can do this, you can actually do like, like stuff like this. Because it's really, really easy. Yeah, and from there, you can jump over your feet. Right. Uh, Try to not to bend your, your body, or go with your muscles. Yeah, ah, you make me work. Go ahead, back here. Excellent. Excellent, Stanislav. So um, if you're interested, check out uh, some of Stanislav's videos and uh, try try this stuff out. Huh? Yep, exactly. <laughs> so uh, next week, we have uh, Luna, um, an American uh, uh, juggler and, um, and flow artist. Does some great stuff with uh, with balls and clubs. Um, completely different style, and uh, but this is what I'm enjoying about this series. You know, really lots of different jugglers. Their approach is so different, but uh, everything, everybody brings a different thing. You know, and um, so cool. So um, so let's say goodbye to everybody. We're gonna end the broadcast now. So ciao. <laughs> bye bye. Ciao.